Pakistani Christian sentenced to death for saying Jesus is supreme. In 2017, Ashok, uh, Ashfaq Masi, a Pakistani Christian man, was sentenced, was arrested for allegedly insulting the Prophet Muhammad by saying Jesus is supreme. Ashfaq was a mechanic by profession. One of his Muslim customers had demanded that he uh, that Ashfaq not charge him for his services based on religious grounds. Ashfaq replied that he did not share his customers' religious beliefs, and he said that only G he only believes in Jesus, and he would not waive the payment. The argument escalated, and eventually the police came to the scene and arrested Ashfaq. Um, since then, he has been in custody, so for um, like five years. On July 4th, he was sentenced to death for blasphemy, despite numerous court irregularities and without solid evidence. Masi's lawyer stated, quote, nowhere in the recorded testimony of the F or FIR or police, police complaint is there any mention of the alleged blasphemous words. The claim of blasphemy was added only after uh, Asfak gave his statement to the police. According to the National Commission for Justice and Peace data, 176 Muslims, 501 Ahmadis, 229 Christians, and 30 Hindus were booked for blasphemy from 1987 to 2018 in Pakistan. Wait, if he wasn't originally arrested for blasphemy, what was he arrested for? That wasn't clear. It was like he was brought in to give a statement because he was having a dispute with his customer how is it insulting prophet muhammad for saying jesus is supreme how is that insult so muhammad? this is actually a very you dialed into actually a very important part of this case is that what's unusual about this man's case is that he actually didn't say anything against muhammad he didn't say anything about islam he didn't Simply even mention when his, when his customer was pressuring him to not charge him because he's a Muslim, he was basically explaining like, I'm not a Muslim. Like he, there's numerous things he's alleged to have said something along the lines of like, Jesus is the only prophet or, you know, Jesus is the, like the Supreme one that I follow. So basically, but especially if he basically said Jesus is the only prophet, then that is, by definition, challenging the prophethood of, of Muhammad and his final seal. Well, I mean, and by I that mean, standard, just prophet. being Christian would be challenged. Like, okay, by that exactly. logic, just being like, hey, I'm a Christian. Like, well, then you don't believe in the prophet. Like, by being a Christian means that you don't believe Muhammad was a prophet. So yeah. the mere, your mere existence would be blasphemy by that standard yeah. masi rejected his request saying he only followed jesus and wasn't interested in irfan's religious statutes as a muslim um wait what was it i don't understand like what request what was the request at that so point? Like in basically the, he's a mechanic he had a customer who wanted to not be charged not he's like oh don't make me pay because i'm a devotee of muslim sufis and saints and why Masi, would i get would, you I, he's what? just playing a game like oh i'm a very devoted man like don't make don't charge me like you know like dumb stuff like that like oh yeah i would be like no I, I you i you you made use of my services you're gonna pay me for my services and he's like so he rejected what he asked for and said he only followed jesus i'm not interested in what you do as a muslim so any piety that you have because of your devotion to muslim saints is none of my interest to me that won't sway me you know and mm. basically he was just saying he was saying jesus is supreme was just his way of saying like i'm christian so yeah he was saying he was charged with disrespecting muhammad the prophet of islam by alleging that christ was the only quote unquote true prophet according to the morning morning star news oh my god so that was it that was all he had to say for it to be worthy of insult to the prophet and he is sentenced to death for this he didn't even say anything against Islam. Is this him crying in the court? Um, I. Th it's not clear to me. 
Oh, is this his, yeah. okay? Blasphemy victim Ash. This is his name is. Uh, yeah. So it says blasphemy victim Ash uh, Fakmasi's mother died, and Ash uh, Masi was released by the legal t- uh, team on parole so that he can attend his mother's funeral. Okay, so he's basically crying over. Yeah, he was briefly death. released to attend his mother's funeral in 2019. Imagine your mother like dying, not knowing whether, like, knowing that your son is on death row. What an amazing country. Or, or nice facing country. a death sentence. Yeah. Because he wasn't sentenced at the time. Good job, Pakistan. You're doing fantastic. Look at you. Are you proud? Are you proud of this country? God damn it. Yeah, Puya is saying, what the actual F? Yeah, it's, there are so many things that are so messed up in his case so first of all, in the actual um, testimony, in the recorded testimony or FIR, there is no mention of the alleged blasphemous words, what he actually said. And then the key witness, this customer that he was arguing with, didn't even show up to trial to testify. Then the prosecutor gave up the primary witness, who was the most relevant to the case, and presented only two out of the total five witnesses during the trial. Even their statements were contradictory. Even though there was no solid evidence against his client, Judge uh, Wazir rejected the argument to give Masi the benefit of the doubt, and he was handed down the death penalty. What, okay, what do you do? You think the judge is like just this stupid, or the judge is like, I like to live, so I'm just going to give you the death sentence? Like, do you think like the judges do this out of fear of the backlash from the mob? Because I don't think judges can be that stupid. I don't know. I don't know. I I genuinely don't know. I mean, mm-hmm. I feel like okay, I'm no a lawyer, but just the sheer amount of illegal irregularities within the the activities of the the prosecutor that alone should like by my standards of what I'm used to, like that 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 itself is like a mistrial. Like there there is nothing here to try and convict someone on. You just don't have the evidence, but that doesn't matter. So why did the judge still allow this to happen? Why did they continue to go through? I really can't say. I really can't say. And again, he Mm. made no reference to Islam. Obviously, it wouldn't be like, oh, no, if he said something about Islam, this is justified. That's not what I'm saying. Why didn't they? Just to reiterate. (laughs) Why don't they, like, try to fight fire with fire? Like, why didn't they accuse the other person of blasphemy? You know what I mean? Like, why didn't she, like... Well, because, I mean, Christian... Pakistani Christians are treated like dirt. Like, they just simply don't have the social capital, I believe, to be able to execute something like that. Like, Pakistani Christians are, on average, very low class. Okay, maybe, like, it's like, he was insulting Jesus, and I just said Jesus is, like, uh, a good guy. I didn't say he was supreme. He was just a good guy. But he was insulting Jesus, and, again, Jesus is, like, a uh prophet in islam so arrest him you know and he, I, I, I i don't think it know. matters because pakistani christians are so economically disadvantaged you know so it's that's like, and that's how the law works we like the judge is like oh okay you're a christian and you're disadvantaged so we're just gonna throw the book at you like i don't understand like, it's just well like, they're sim- they're they're not compelled they're not compelled to you know care as much you know and you're, it, this is within yeah. the essence of being disadvantaged right um, yeah, so the judges in Pakistan are just like they have no zero objectivity. Is that what we're saying? Like they just like completely within. No. Okay. All right. Um, we'll look at some. Um, start yeah, some comments. So Oxymoron is saying, "Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't the Prophet Muhammad think that Jesus was the mightiest of prophets? Is this an Islamic teaching? I'm not aware of this. I don't know if I don't know if he's the mightiest. I just know he was like look." Uh, very positively like he's a masoom like mm. he hasn't basically means like jesus is was completely 100 percent pure and good and there was nothing about him that was like even tiny bit you know wrong or evil just free right? of sin free of sin yeah uh, a prophet of god um you know so i don't uh, yeah i don't know mightiest i don't know how you i, I don't know if he was mightiest okay but i know that Prof- jesus is looked in very high regards in islam that's all i know nice um and well it's not nice because uh, jesus sucks well no that was just me oh. you know i didn't i didn't mean that literally that was just 
you know, being like, oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kenny is saying, I guess if Jesus is supreme, the implication is that Muhammad isn't. So that's where True. the insult lies. I know, but what again, if that's the insult, then just being a Christian would be an insult to Muhammad because being a Christian by itself means that Muhammad is not the prophet of God. Okay. So yeah, exactly. You don't even recognize this prophethood. Jesus is the Messiah. Um <laughs> Forever Stormy is saying so basically the judge is a bitch. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but if by bitch you mean like a coward, like I mean, I don't blame him. I wouldn't want him up at my house over this. Like, you know what I mean? I don't want my, I don't want to risk my family. I, I don't know, Susanna. If you were the judge and you thought like, okay, if I don't get give this person a death sentence, my the mob might show up and like threaten so, my family. Someone may assassinate me. I don't. I don't would know. You, I don't. I have no idea what these a, motivations were. But would you? Would you give a death sentence? If you to this innocent person, if you, if you thought that your family is at risk, if you didn't give him a death sentence. Oh Jesus, that's horrible. <laughs> that's and, horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Put you in the spot. You, you, you might justify it internally by being like, "Well, we don't actually enforce the death penalty here." Ah, uh, yeah. The judge is like, "These these crazies need to be satisfied." And given that Pakistan doesn't actually carry out death sentences, let me just give him a death sentence so that these people shut up. Maybe that's yeah. a good point. But then yeah. that person and their family go like through hell. It's yeah. really sad. And even if so, I believe that this man has one opportunity to uh, appeal this decision or appeal the sentence. Um, either before the Supreme Court or the high, the High Court or the Supreme Court, um, but even if he ends up getting acquitted or well, not acquitted, if his sentence is readjusted and he's released in any capacity, he still has to like flee the country. Like his family mm. still has to flee the country. You know, so yeah, that's what's so sad is that even if by some miracle there is mercy towards him like there is no peace ever again true it's horrible um wait there was there another come forever stormy is saying jesus had a virgin birth did mo have no riding... what did what did <laughs> jesus had a virgin birth what did muhammad have ride a half donkey jesus wins this contest easily jesus okay. does have better miracles Okay, I, I don't appreciate all these anti donkey attitudes, okay? Because I think the amount of. No, seriously, no, I'm, this is important. Because everybody makes fun of Muhammad by calling the mount that he was on, they don't call it a half horse, they call it a half donkey, okay? As if donkeys are inferior to horses, okay? Mm. Like it's an insult, but they try, you're trying to insult Muhammad by calling the mount the donkey. What is this anti donkey hate? I don't get it. Like the donkey. I think it's because creature. it's like a commoner thing. Like the commoners, oh. they they have donkeys. <laughs> you know, say. people respect. have with a bit more. Yeah, respect <laughs> the donkeys. The donkey. Respect the ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually not joking. Like this is important to me. Like m I don't understand why people love horses and the donkeys are just like funny, uh, you know, ridiculous creatures. Okay, you know they're they're very they're they're cute. Okay, and they're very beautiful. Okay, they're not as beautiful as a horse, but okay. <laughs> no, they're, they're adorable. Have you not seen a donkey? Okay, All I right, can see them mind. as cute. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.